E ngā rauru o ngai hore titi te nara koutou katoa. Nei rā, te mihi ki a koutou katoa i tēnei atā, kia ora koutou. Now, today we're focusing on wāhine toa, women of strength and resolve. So later in the program we'll bring you the courageous story of Tony Heckman Strongman, a survivor of a ruptured brain aneurysm. I mean, this will blow you away. Definitely. But for now, a new wave of women politicians now includes Rotorua native Tanya Tapsell. Turning 21 usually means planning a big birthday bash. Exactly, yes. But Tanya was busy campaigning to become the district's youngest local body politician. Reporter Kane Peters caught up with Tanya to see what makes council her perfect fit. It's, you, know, you don't have to follow the crowd. If you have a dream of yours, even if it's different and even if everyone tells you you can't, I can't even begin to count the number of people that told me that I can't be a counsellor and I can't do this young. Just get out there and do it. There was no one under 40 on the council. There was no one representing young people and at the end of the day someone needs to. It's very nice out here. There's so many beautiful places in Aotearoa. Yeah, she's playing her art of politics very well at the moment, uh, but we know behind that sweet exterior there's someone determined to make a difference for Te Arawa and for our community. This was our playground here. I'm very lucky actually to have all my grandparents when we were young, the lake was clear. You could see the bottom, couldn't you, Selwyn? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It was lovely. Couldn't see the coat over there. No. <laughs> lift the rock to find <laughs> My grandfather Selwyn is, um, you know, very embedded in the church. His father was Frederick Augustus Bennett, who was the first um, Māori bishop of Aotearoa. My Grandmother Caroline, she's in education. And on my other side, my Tapsal side, my grandparents, they have played a big part in who I am as a Tapsal and as a Māori and as an Atifakoe. Leadership starts in the whānau. Always starts in the whānau. Got any sugar? My family inspires me. Yes, please. Yes, please. I always tell my little brother, my little brothers and sisters all the time that I believe in them and I support them. I just want to make sure that I set some strong foundations underneath my siblings to be able to survive the challenges of life and enjoy their life and get through anything. What do you guys like about your sister? Everything. <laughs> that really? she's a counsellor. Why, why do you like that she's a counsellor? Because um, it's special. Okay, well, what don't you like about your sister? That she's... <laughs> that she's growling. We're finished. Wash your face. Wash your face. What has your sister taught you? How to behave. That's cool. To stay strong. I prepare myself all the time, even little things in life. What if people think that you're too young? Well, you could look at people and say they're too old. <laughs> I didn't get time to have a 21st, actually. Um, I was out all day campaigning, <laughs> but I made it. I thought she was far too young. <laughs> and, uh, but I, I heard her out on the campaign trail. She was an effective campaigner. She stuck to her message. So people knew what she was standing for. We're going to the future now. You know, we're going to the future now. This generation and the generation to come is growing up in a very different world, especially with globalisation and the, even just the technological change we've had recently. So it's important that we have someone in there that understands that. What's our city going to look like? The young people these days are purchasing online. Everything's done online almost. So how's that going to look for our city? Are we going to try to get more shops in just to fail them? Or are we going to look at more creative ways to fill those shops and fill those areas? I would rather be at a table 
where people are saying no or people are saying I don't know about that so that I can explain myself. Do you ever have any doubts? Oh, of course I have doubts. I don't believe you should go into life thinking everything's going to be perfect because it's not. I would not be here if the people didn't believe in me. And that's my motivation. That's my motivation now and that will be my motivation in the future.